Hello, I am in London. I've been here for about a week and I don't think this will come as a surprise to anybody, but London is very, very expensive. Taylor lives in London. And I'm very poor. <laughs> yeah, so it's like really pricey to live here. Like I thought Sydney was expensive and then I came to London and I was like, oh, okay. Like, Jokes. So because it is so expensive, I have set myself a challenge. I'm gonna try and do one whole day in London of doing things and like eating things and actually like living my life under 20 pounds. That might sound like a lot because you're like 20 pounds is like 40 Australian dollars. Like, okay, like maybe we could do that. It's actually like really, <laughs> really hard to do. So um, I've enlisted Taylor, she's my local guide and I've asked her to show me some good cheap places to eat and like cool things to do on a budget. I was gonna try and do a cute thing where I like hold up a 20 pound note but I went to the ATM and they gave me two tens, <laughs> which is like convenient for buying things but really annoying in terms of like a cute aesthetic like 20 pounds. <laughs> so <laughs> we have 20 pounds. We're gonna see what we can do. And the aesthetics are ruined, so just deal with it. Exactly, I'm <laughs> sorry. Okay, priority number one is getting a coffee. Um, if you want good coffee in London, go to a different city. <laughs> but if you want good coffee, um, it's gonna cost you like at least three pounds. So we're not gonna be doing that today. We're gonna be going to Pret, Pret a Manger, which has like not bad coffee for London standards. It's like fine um, and it costs two pounds ten but if you have a keep cup you save 50 pence and you save the planet so you're gonna get a coffee for one pound sixty which is like a pretty good deal thank you success wow what a beautiful blue river <laughs> it is very romantic at night it's so clear today is it not normally this clear? Never, ever, ever, ever. It's London. <laughs> yeah, true. The fog. The Dementors. So we're currently in Sky Garden, which is this kind of like indoor garden built at the top of a tall building in the middle of the city. Um, and it's free to get up here. You do have to reserve your tickets online, or if you're like me and very unprepared, you can just do walk in between, I think, 8 and 11. You can just come and line up. We lined up for about 20 minutes. Um, and then you can get into free. Also, it's a great spot for eating tea, so nice. And if you look over here, you'll see an iconic piece in London skyline the uh, bridge from the Spice Girls that they jumped over in their bus. And there is a cafe and there's a bar and all that, but like, we're on a budget, so. You know what's free? Tap water. <laughs> Bitch is on a budget. So one really good thing about London is that it is like a cool place to just walk around. Like, and that's something you don't have to pay for. You can just wander around the streets and there's always something cool to look at or see or take a photo of. Um, and there's also a lot of really good street art. So especially in the neighborhood of Shoreditch. Shoreditch. Which is near where Taylor lives. It is indeed. So we're just gonna um, have a little wander through Shoreditch, look at some cool street art. Um, there's some really good vintage shops there as well, so we might have a little peruse. I think these themselves are 20 pounds. Maybe I will come back tomorrow when I'm not doing this roll. Bonjour, oui, oui, très bien. <laughs> Where are we going now? Where are we going now? <laughs> We're going to Hackney City Farm now. What's so that? It's a farm, community farm. They've got all over London, heaps of different ones. This one's right next to my house. They've got like pigs and goats, and it's all like sustainable and beautiful and adorable. For free, yeah. It's for free. <laughs> Let's go find some animals. 
Ooh, that's a haunted gate. Look at all these chickens. What's going on with your head? <laughs> this duck has quite the plume. Wow, these goats are so majestic. I did not realize that there would be like a farm with actual animals and actual space inside London. So many, so cute. Right? Thanks for bringing me here. I actually, this is be cool and for free. I mean, they did ask for a one pound donation. Does that fit into our budget? I don't know, I'm gonna have to do some maths to figure that out. I feel like we should give them a one pound. Okay. Hi. Can I pat you? Is he gonna bite me? Larry, you look good for 22, mate. Can I pat, okay. You busy tonight? Maybe we can uh, go to the movies. We can watch a chick flick. <laughs> oh my God. Taylor, did you hope you didn't read that? Guess what is the tallest chicken that they have here? Guess how tall he grows. Uh, 87 centimeters. 2.5 meters. Oh no, wait, <laughs> wait, that says feet. <laughs> Damn it. I was like, there's a monster chicken here. Wait, that's like a dinosaur. <laughs> Okay. I love that you thought it was 2.5 meters. Okay, we're leaving. <laughs> Alright, looking at all those animals made me hungry. <laughs> I'm sorry. So London's actually pretty good for cheap food. Like you can go to Tesco or you can go to Pret and you can get a meal deal for like four pounds and it's pretty three good. Pounds. Three pounds. But I think we're gonna actually like go to like a restaurant or a cafe. We're gonna try and find some cheap food. And word on the street is there's some really good cheap food in Chinatown. So we are gonna head there now. It would be easy to just like hop on the tube, but that's like three pounds. However, if you're traveling in off peak and you have an Oyster card, you can get a bus for one pound 50. So we are gonna get a bus. It's gonna take a little longer, but we're gonna get a bus, be thrifty, and then try and find some food. All right. Adios. <laughs> we found some actually like very oh, cool size boots. Seven. They're very disgusting as well. But so it's size nine. Free stuff in London. You can do it for under 20 pounds. Pro tip, you can use the app City Mapper to figure out the best um, public transport to get anywhere. And it'll tell you the prices. So there you go, one pound 50 for the bus, or we can pay 3.90 for the tube. I think we're gonna go the bus. Wonky. Wonky. Look how giant the menu is. So many different options and all of them are so like well priced for London anyway. So I'm thinking that we are going to get a noodle soup and maybe split it because I think it's going to be really big. Five pounds ninety between two people. That's three pounds each. Probably a bit less. Two. Two ninety five each. Two. I don't know. Okay, we have hit a floor in our stingy plan. <laughs> they won't let us order only one dish to share, so we also got some string rolls as a starter, which cost three pounds fifty, I think. Half of that is one seventy-five each, so that brings our total to four seventy-five each. Actually, that's still pretty good for like spring rolls and like a huge soup. Paid one fifty for. Done it. Dun it, dun it, dun it. Woo! There are so many noodles in this soup. Like, look at this bitch. Okay, yeah, we did the right thing in splitting this. There is, there is so much food here. Can you believe this is only five pounds eighty? This is like cheaper than a glass of wine at the bar we went to last night. We're winning. I don't know how to eat this. A lady. Sandwich, or we could have come here and got a giant bowl of noodles and soup. Good choices. All right, so oh my god, this fucking clown. Hi, <gasps> Taylor, where are we going now? We're going to the Tate Modern now. It's very cool, it's got a lot of big artists, which is really fun to see. Lots of really cool exhibitions, a big fluffy orange wall. It's like a 30 minute walk away. We could get the tube, we could even get a ferry on the river. Sorry, my hair. 
Um, we could get a ferry, but the ferry is like seven pounds, so we're gonna walk. I think it's a walk on the river, right? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna cross the bridge. Chance. It'll be nice. It'll be nice. All right. Oh, I can't believe we're in London. <laughs> get it? Because it's the eye. another member of our party, Louise, <laughs> and we're at the Tate. Really, really, really big. I feel like you need like three days to do everything. Yeah. Two sides. Okay. As well. We're doing this side. We're doing this side. Okay, well, take me somewhere that I'm gonna like. We're gonna go downstairs. This is an art attack. <laughs> this is an art attack. This is an art attack. <laughs> One of you is going to have to change. <laughs> Another really good thing about the Tate is the balcony, the observation deck, because you get a really good view out over the river, out over London. These guys are having a great time seeing the sights. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll get you wine soon. Okay, so we finished at the museum. We're all arted out, if that's an adjective. Or is that a verb? As arted out? It's not a word, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, true. Okay, so I said, I think we need a drink. And I asked Taylor, where is the best, or not the best, but like the most, the best Cheapest. value for money. Best value for money. I'll buy two. Yeah. Playing bangers. And she's brought me to a place called Simmons. It's actually a chain, so there's a few a chain. around the city. It's a trashy, yeah. trashy, beautiful chain. Uh, it's trashy, but it's like not bad. No. Nah. Like I'm not above anything like this. I'm not even gonna pretend I am. But yeah, glasses of wine for three pounds, beer for two pounds fifty. We've decided to split a bottle because there's three of us. A dollar more. <laughs> yeah, so it's more rather. Four pounds Enjoy each and we've got a bottle of wine between us, which is pretty good. It's a good half an hour. Yeah. Cheers. We're like three wines in and we're like, we need food. <laughs> we're like three wines in. Maybe we're like seven wines in. I've come outside because it is very, very loud in there. But they have pizzas. They have margarita pizzas for three ninety five. So four pounds for a whole pizza, which is pretty amazing. And we were like, okay, great. We can each get a pizza. And then we walked in there and then they have a sign saying margaritas, frozen margaritas for three pounds fifty. And we were like, mm, I think we need those frozen margaritas. I think it's the wine talking, but we were like, we need those frozen margaritas. So we're going to split a pizza and then have a margarita each. Is that a wise choice? Yes, I think so. Will I think that tomorrow? Probably not. So we've gone for a Vegano pizza. A Vegano pizza. Which is $5.50. Um, it's got like more vegetables and stuff on it, so it's a little bit more interesting than just like bread and tomato. Um, but still, $5.50 plus, what's half of $5.50? $2.75 plus $3.50. Uh, my math isn't really working, but that's still only like seven pounds each for a drink and half a pizza, which is like pretty good. Bing! Amazing. This lighting is absolutely bullshit. That's good pizza. That's actually really good pizza. Yeah. It's 8.30. We made it. We made it to the end of the day. We did it. We didn't spend more than 20 pounds. I don't know exactly how much we spent. I'm gonna have to calculate it and like, ding, put it here. But we definitely spent like, what, probably 18? I think around that, and yeah. we're drunk. Yeah. yeah, I feel like we did a very good job of like doing things, like cultural things, going out for drinks, having good food. We didn't just like eat at Pret. We, yeah. did, we did pretty we well. We nice places. Yeah, so there you go. You will probably go broke in London, but every now and then you can have a day where you don't go so broke. Good Ding. stuff. <laughs> All right, thanks Bye. for watching. Bye. Frozen margarita for three pounds fifty. A four pound pizza? I love it. These guys just want to yeah. be.